Tonight, we continue our series, Small But Strong, about local kids battling medical odds and the community helping them in their fight. Imagine having to watch your child's every move, worried that the smallest misstep could result in a dislocated arm. Well, that's the reality for the Callahans. Their son has an incredibly rare genetic disorder that makes him prone to dislocations, aneurysms, and more. Recently, they were joined by dozens of their friends, family, and complete strangers for a charity golf tournament aptly named Chase for a Cure. This is Chase's story. In the game of golf, it seems you're always up against obstacles. Bunkers, sand traps, water hazards, all standing in your way as you try to get closer to the pin. Oh, right to the wood. But on this day, getting closer to the pin, not nearly as important as getting closer to a cure. And those obstacles, they're nothing. Oh, good job. Compared to what this little golfer has been through. Chase, you're so handsome. Meet Chase. Can you show how old you are? How many oh, fingers do you hold up for three? Three. Good job. He's come a long way since the day he came into this world three years ago. All of a sudden, within an hour of him being born, the nurse grabbed him, started doing CPR because his lips were turning blue. Rushed to the NICU, Chase would undergo dozens of tests, eventually diagnosed with kyphoscoliotic Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, a rare connective tissue disorder. Doctors told Michael and his wife Kate Chase's was one of only 60 known cases in the world. The condition makes him more prone to scoliosis, joint dislocations, and vascular issues like aneurysms. But Chase continues to prove his doctors wrong. The doctors told us he wouldn't walk until between two and seven years old and he walked at two months prior to two years old. Keep walking. He is determined in every sense to do everything that the doctors say he will never be able to do. Determined is right to take our camera. <laughs> no, we're gonna leave it alone please. Don't break it please. Chase, can you leave that alone please? How amazed are you at how far he's come? Completely amazed. Um, we had no idea what life was going to be like for him. Um, to see him come this far is just phenomenal. The first annual Chase for the Cure golf tournament benefiting the Marfan Foundation and its research grant program to find a cure for connective tissue disorders like Chase's. What does a goat say? Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> What's a horsey say? Yeah, exactly. Until there is a cure, his parents must constantly find a balance between protecting him and letting him be a kid. You can't let him go on the bounty house, but at the same time, you have to let him go out and enjoy time with maybe friends from the daycare or whatever it might be. Um, you really just have to take each day, one day at a time. And while high-impact sports like baseball and basketball are just too risky, Dad hopes golf is a game they'll be able to play together someday. Are you going to golf with Dad? someday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a future golfer, cameraman, maybe even TV star. You say cheese. <laughs> Can you flex? Can you show muscles? Can you do this? You show muscles. <laughs> because Chase is small but strong. Cheese to the camera. Uh, Michael tells me the tournament, by the way, raised $30,000 for the Marfan Foundation. So that's just fantastic. And uh, to donate and to learn more, we have all the information on WPRI.com. So, Chase, I'm keeping your spot warm right here for you. When you grow up, you can be right here on 12 News. How does that sound? Yeah, he loves the camera for sure. But we were so happy to meet him, and uh, we hope that they do find a cure someday.